Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm Nye. And off to random again. Maggie. Haven't played Maggie in a while. So I generally try to keep this from being a uh, diary of sorts because, you know, generally I find that people don't want to hear about life, but god damn it. I was, a uh, as I said yesterday, like I was playing Isaac yesterday with very little sleep. Um, and I was going into a fairly long day, about a nine, a nine hour, ten hour work day, depending on stuff. I was going into a long day, and I was only going to have three hours of sleep, which is generally fine. I can do that. I've done it frequently. I've done it in the past. I'll do it again. What was becoming the issue was not that I was going to be going into a long day without sleep. But yesterday, you know, open up my store, I'm just kind of hanging out, doing my stuff, and I get to about 2 o'clock. Now, the reason why 2 o'clock is important is that it's about the time when uh, I got a uh, text message from one of my other managers, the guy who should be relieving me that day, and he's like, yeah, uh, my car's not working. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I, I see a new battery. It'll be cool. I'll see you at 3 as, I, as expected. Just a heads up. Oh, neat. Okay, see you at 3. So, 3 o'clock comes and goes, and I send him a text and go, Okay, so, you know, what's going on? Oh, well, apparently it's not the battery. It's the alternator. So, uh, yeah, I will uh, see... You know, we have to pick one of those out and get it installed. So, I'll see you soon. Oh, okay. No big deal. Because I'm supposed to be there till 6 anyways. So, I mean, it's not like... Not having him at there at 3 on a Friday is a big deal. So, 4 o'clock comes and goes. So, uh, how you doing? Well, we're, st we're still working on uh, getting installed. Oh, okay. 5 o'clock comes and goes. The, f the, uh, clo the actual closing uh, guy comes in. It's like, well, where is he? Eh, we don't know. So that comes and goes. So, yeah, we're, we just, and then at about 6 o'clock... See, normally I would take a break at like 5 o'clock or so, go get something to eat, but it's really hard to do that when it's busy. So there was no break or eating for me. It's like, oh, fun. So at 6 o'clock, we get a little bit less busy. I go take a break and text the guy. It's like, okay, well, it's, it's at 6. What's up? Oh, yeah, we finally got the alternator installed, so now I'm cleaning up and I'm on my way. Awesome. And then at 7 o'clock, I text him again. So, uh, how about that coming in here? Oh, well, my car just died, and I'm trying to get a uh, jump. Oh, okay, well, no big deal, really. I'll, I'll, I'll see you when you're able to get in here and get that jump. At about 8 o'clock, uh, you're probably not getting in, are you? Uh, no, man, I'm still stuck over here on River Road, and I'm not able to get in. Oh, well, that sucks. Okay, well, I'll just pull a double and close the store. So yesterday, on three hours of sleep, I pulled a double and closed the store. And that's just, it's, it's unpleasant. Like, a double, you plan, a double you plan for is unpleasant. A double you don't plan for is even worse. It's just, it's, it's the shittiest of things. It really is. Uh, at least, like, scheduling-wise. Because you're sitting there going, you know, I didn't plan to do this, and now I'm doing it. But with little, to, you know, little to no sleep either. Like, it's just, it feels terrible. A long, long day. And keep in mind, my day in the first place, you know, I work nine out of the 12 hours my store is open anyways. So it's not as if my normal schedule is not like a double. But, you know, it's still that you have that hope that, okay, I will be going home fairly soon. And uh, that'll be, you know, that'll be that, right? By the way, we're just not going to be getting a deal with the devil on this floor because that happened. Because I'm being distracted by a dog that's barking. But yeah, it's it's a bad day anyways. But then you do it on nine hours. Or <laughs> nine hours. Wow, I wish. You do it on three hours of sleep. You know, it's bad. I was hoping to go get an eye exam yesterday. That didn't happen. They close at seven. So it's like, you know. God, stop producing freaking spiders. You son of a bitch. Just die. I want those bombs. I'm never going to be able to reach them. This is another one of those, uh... Another one of those days that the game's not going to give me any bombs until I no longer need them. 
God, and the amount of damage we have taken so far. I could use this Wheel of Fortune, but I only have three, uh... I only have three cents. It's not as if that's going to help. Stop, stop doing the spider thing. Stop being a spider. Just stop doing it. But yeah, needless to say, terrible day yesterday. And I was going to catch up on some recording, do some Isaac, you know, get some stuff out of the way. That's good. We're just going to sit right here for a second. I was going to do that. But, you know, that whole bug bite thing still hasn't ended. So the second I get home, I'm like, oh, God. Because it's one of those things, like, I can... If I'm at work, or if I'm recording, or if I'm doing something, I can push past it. Like, I don't have to pay too much attention to it. And, uh, you know, I'm distracted is the whole point. So I can just not deal with bug bites. That's fine. But as soon as I'm on my way home and I'm driving, I'm no longer as distracted. I don't have, uh, like, my entire focus on something. So all of a sudden, the itching just starts. And it's like, oh, son of a... And, uh... You know, it gets pretty bad. And so I get home, and I take Benadryl, because it's basically the only thing that helps. And, um... That was actually really good, and we might be able to get some stuff now. But take some itching. Take some itching, yes. Take some Benadryl, start using that, and then it's like... Well... No recording's getting done tonight. I'm basically asleep tonight. The fact that that did not actually give me any money whatsoever is crappy. Maybe this will be better. That gave me one. I mean, the spirit heart is definitely more important. I was really hoping to get a bomb out of that penny. Did I go up? Yes. Still looking for our important rooms here. Oh, God. Spider room. I hate this room. At least the knife's doing good stuff. I mean, that's, I, I can be happy with, with Sacrificial Dagger most of the time when I'm playing. Um, you know, it's, it's a pretty good thing. I don't... The thing is, I don't really like it as a... Um, as an item room item, though. Like, it, it's a deal with the devil item. I'd rather get it out of there and kind of choose do I want to spend money on it. To have it come out of an item room and just make it impossible for me to get something better it just sucks and I'm playing as Maggie and the thing with Maggie is she's slow she doesn't have a lot of damage so getting this uh, getting it as an item is just entirely unhelpful to me and then to get old bandage as my next item when my you know Maggie's strength is already um, having health up the wazoo so to give me another health item, it's just it's just so unhelpful. It really sucks. It really does. We need we need damage. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get a deal with the devil most likely, which that really sucks because that's god damn it. That's Maggie's strength right there is to get deals with the devil and just have health left over. So the fact that I'm probably not going to be getting a deal with the devil because I've taken red heart damage this floor is just, it's just really bad. That's good. Okay, so mom's wig giving us the chance to get spiders when we shoot. That could actually help out. Um... It's not going to be an amazing thing, especially because our luck stats aren't particularly high at the moment because we just started the game. I don't know how that spider didn't hurt me, so, but I'm happy about it. So we're not going to get an amazing amount of spiders. I'd love to get some luck up pills and really turn this into uh, spider heaven and then just go get hive mind or something like that. But it doesn't look like that's very likely. Can you, can you please? Thank you. Please? I hate spider rooms. Because you have to sit here all day and just hope that they don't dodge everything that you do. Is that it? No? There's someone else? There's this guy. So we almost have enough money to go into the uh, shop, which is awesome. Um, you know what? It's not. It's not really worth it right now. That's the boss.
I don't think one bomb's gonna take care of this. No. But, yeah, of course. So that should make it possible for me to get into, uh, excellent. Hopefully get to the deal of the devil. The map for seven cents is pretty good, I gotta be honest. So we're gonna take the map. Unfortunately, it will not be getting me, um, much on this floor. But, what can you do? Widow! Even more spiders. Oh, joy. So, unfortunately, Widow's currently just on the exact opposite side of my knife. Okay, so there goes Widow. Deal the devil? Yes! Okay. Magic 8 ball, shot speed up, plus a Joker card for the next floor. Awesome. I will take Death's Touch because a damage up is really important. And then, of course, Penetrative Shot. And we will be getting a deal with the devil on the next floor. Okay. Um... Nothing really else I want to do on this floor, so we're just going to go down. Not getting the pill bottle is not necessarily suck, but it's not very good. I would have vastly preferred to get the pill bottle, if that would have been possible. Okay. So, we're going to hold on to this Joker card. If we do not get a deal with the devil on this floor, we will then use it. Can't get that, unfortunately. Uh, I really don't like this room. I really don't like this room. Okay. Now we're good. We'll just kill this guy and just stay away from him. So there's our shop, which is great. And there's our item room, which is ow. Item room's okay. We have no idea what's going to be in it. Just searching for money here. Ludovico technique. Um, not sure how I feel about that, to be 100% honest with you. I mean, it's not... It's not going to ruin me. It's just... We don't actually have the tiers up to make it really good. So it's going to be really... Uh, or shot speed up to make it really good. We did get a little bit of shot speed up. So that's why it's not terrible right now. But... That being said, if we can get Brimstone, all of a sudden, this becomes amazing. So we're just going to stand here and get this done. Um, I almost don't want to go into that curse room right now. Because I'm a little bit worried about health at the moment, given that we're, you know, running a Ludovico Technique Maggie run. What's going on in here? Yep, for a great chest, I'll do it. That's mostly why I wanted to get either bombs or um, money. So the fact that I'm getting both. We need one more cent in order to make a... Let's just set that on you for a second. Does that not work? How do I get you to... Oh, God. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Obnoxious... Oh, tears down. Why? Actually, I, I don't actually know if that matters. I don't know if Ludovic Technique cares about tears down. Uh, maybe it does less... Like, it doesn't dot as much with tears down? Is that a possibility? That it doesn't quite... Uh, you get less hits per second or something like that? I don't know. I really wish that dog would shut up. Bad trip is terrible. Even Amesis is terrible. Are you a wizard? Doesn't actually matter. Uh, I'm very glad that we didn't like buy a pill bag or anything like that. I've been. Mean, I've learned not to buy a pill bag. I actually want to stick with uh, what we have now, right now. But yeah, I'm, I, I've learned not to buy pill bag because generally our pills suck, anyways. So I wouldn't be doing that. But it's it's just one of those one of those things. Uh, I mean, for we're gonna do it. Hive mind. That's actually really good. So, all of a sudden, the spiders that we just naturally create are double damage, and spiders do more than my current damage, so that's already amazing. Like, they do, I forget what the actual amount is, I believe it's four times my actual damage. 
So, um, that makes my spiders just amazing. Get some flies. So basically what we're looking at right now is an absolutely fantastic run when it comes to damage. It's just I have to actually be able to... That was really poor damage to take. I have to actually be able to apply the damage somehow. So it's dodging and moving. And we're going to see what happens. We're going to see. Uh, my spiders are doing awesome. I, I would love to get infestation shot if that would be at all possible. Because that would make this even better. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. We're going to move over here. Okay. Mega Fatty should be pretty easy. I mean, should be is the, is the word here. Unfortunately, my spiders don't really want to deal with him, apparently. Okay. So, what's this? Wooden Spood for speed up. Go ahead and go to the Joker. That's going to be Krampus. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not what I wanted by any means, but it's not too bad. Krampus is going to give me the head of Krampus, which honestly is better than Yumheart. At least for our purposes. Obviously, I was not hoping for Krampus when I came into this room. Okay, um, I definitely want to go into that curse room. That minor speed up is good. So that's going to help me out because we, we, you know, Maggie is slow. She really is. Can we, uh, do something here? Maybe? No? Okay. We do want to hold on to a bomb in case the curse room has a bombable box in it. Oh, come on. Really? And it gave me two bombs at least, so you know I can search for the secret room. Golden poop, okay. Giving me that. Honestly, with the lack of bombs and the fact that we've needed them so much, I want to stick with bombs. We know what this is, right? Are you a wizard? Right. Yeah. Well, kind of a bum floor. Um, we're gonna go down. Actually, no. Well, I need to do something. Because this is Caves 1. So next floor... Yeah, so we're going to do this. Not much. But I want to get... Ow. That was really silly. Ah. I just want just enough to, uh, money to be able to kind of guarantee a uh, arcade on the next floor. Because I think we're going to need it. And being able to get more health would be kind of important. And now we really want to make sure that we get a deal with the devil next floor. Because what I'm kind of hoping is to get a Ludovico Technique run going on. I've never gotten Ludovico Technique plus, like, Brimstone. And I would love to have that. I want this to be that run. Because we're already in a position where that would be pretty good. Okay, what's over here? Nothing good, that's for sure. Would you just die, please? Thank you. Your turn. Come on. Pop your head up. Took forever for my spiders to actually want to deal with him. So Krampus's head on a six-room timer is not amazing. It's mostly going to be there to just give me a chance to kill things before they have a chance to kill me. That's going to be about it. What was this? It was something bad, right? Tears down. Yep. So there's the arcade I was hoping for. Uh, I mean, it's an okay arcade. Um, I don't want to deal with it right now, because I just don't have any way to take advantage of it. Let's go ahead and just pump two cents into this. Yeah. Yeah, um, I don't really have any way to take advantage of the fact that there's an arcade there right now. I can do it at the end of this floor, but not right now, because there's no health on the floor or anything like that that I can use. Get rid of this guy, because he's actually got speed. Awesome. We're getting a fair amount of keys. We have nothing to spend them on, but, you know, we have them. It's kind of good. Just going to stay in the corner here. I think that's one of the nice things with the Ludovico technique, is that I can kill things from a very long ways away. It's kind of like Brimstone in that way. But not nearly as good as Brimstone. 
Long Soul to kill you and kill you. See, so yeah, any shot speed up the game would care to give me is automatically amazing. Bad trip. Bad gas. Okay, so we have the body. All of a sudden, we get even more health. Which, not bad. Just, it's not good either. I mean, this health is good, but I want to be able to... Uh, I need to be able to do something with this health. Yeah, I can't just... I need, like, a demon beggar or, you know... Or a deal with the devil. You can't just... Well, there goes the red heart damage to the floor. I need a deal with the devil or something that I can deal with. I can't, like, do this without it. Let's blow that up. So chances are we're not going to be seeing a deal with the devil this floor. Because of that red heart damage. I can still hope. I can still dream. We have no bombs. I would really like to have some in this room. We don't have any bombs. I'd really like to have one. So we're heading gradually towards the boss. We know where it has to be. And right now, we're basically just hoping for money drops. So we can get some bombs to go get some of that stuff in the past. In those previous rooms. We also want bombs for the curse room, because the curse room could have something that would require bombs. Come on. Pop your head up. Oh, that was silly damage to take. Come on. There we go. Still no bombs, so I can't do anything about that. And the good news is we have had Krampus, so the next fight should be easy. Especially against Mega Ma, who doesn't get to move at all. And I took damage anyway, so... Range up is pointless. That was just really not... That was not good. Okay, so... Sucktastic. Now, hopefully, we will be getting bombs. So, what we're going to do first is I'm going to go uh, do a couple of uh, plays on the blood bank. I did not want to use that donation machine, so that kind of sucks. Okay, give me... God, we're, we're... I got one bomb out of that. Now, thankfully, old bandage gave me a little bit of health there. Allowed me to get a few more bombs. Okay. So now we're going to go play in here and hopefully not get killed. Guppy's head. Okay. And a pair of pills. What's this one? Hematomesis. That's actually really good because that gets me back out of this room. Uh, I think Guppy's head trumps... <clears throat> uh, trumps um, Krampus's head. Simply because uh, it's usable every room and we have hive mind. So, definitely think it's better. It's in here. Of course it's greed. Ow. Yes, we're going to get a ton of bombs here, and a ton of money, which may or may not actually become useful at some point. Okay. Um, now that we have 12 bombs, I feel comfortable searching for the secret room. Which is basically going to give me nothing. Okay. We're just spending a little bit of time trying to shore up our deficiencies here. Because we have a fair amount of deficiencies right now. Most of them are me. That sucked. There's Magic Mush, which is basically what I was searching for. I think almost all of our pills are bad, actually. Paralysis. Balls of Steel is maybe the only good pill we have. Oh, damn. Come on. I keep on knocking it around. You know what? Screw it. Use up one of those uh, spirit hearts just to get that. We have money. 
Okay, let's go back to that arcade and see if we can use this prodigious amount of health to get even more health. And then we'll leave. Long floor. Definitely a long floor. Didn't get much out of it either. Um, our gains on this floor have been fairly low. So there's the blood bag. Uh, let's go ahead and hit this a couple times. Just see if I can get anything out of it. We'll go down to, let's say, 40 cents. I'm just curious if we're going to be able to get anything out of it. I am really excited about the prospect of becoming Guppy. Bad gas sucks, and there goes the thing. Okay, so that was basically all the benefits I could have possibly gotten out of this. Let's blow these up, and I'm I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with this floor. I don't think we can do anything in that one room that has the chest up there. Right? Yeah, can't really access that. We can leave. Um, we can... Okay, secret room's not going to be that bottom wall, so we're just going to leave. Definitely not going to be hitting speed run this time. I don't really mind. I don't care, but it's in here. I don't really feel like doing that for a gray chest. Did you die, please? It's kind of a sign of how bad our actual damage damage is, that it takes that long for us to kill that thing. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to actually go for Rusted Key instead. Increases uh, chest drops and key drops at the expense of just about everything else. It's kind of like a less powerful Guppy's Tail. And I'm actually okay with that. Oh, this is this room sucks. Especially being as slow as Maggie is. I need to get a, um... Need to get another spirit heart before I'm going to be willing to go in there, because we do need to see a deal with the devil. Like, it's not incredibly urgent that we see a deal with the devil, but it's pretty urgent that we see a, see a deal with the devil. Two of hearts is pointless. Two of clubs is actually pretty good. And the hermit. Okay. Okay. So that's not bad could lead to good things. Plenty of money, so that's good. Directly to the deal with the devil. Oh, that's... Okay, how do I use that? Because we... Because I can't use that in this room. It's, it's not... No, I, I gotta leave this room because I can't use it in here is the problem. No, I can't use it in here. And that sends me right back in here, which was... I was kind of hoping for that, but... At the same time... Can I use it, in, can I use it right here? Just take that... I'd like to die, please. Right now. Thank you. Like, that deal with the devil's great. It's gonna give us a lot of damage. This could be a really bad idea, by the way. Okay. So now we have damage. What was this? This was bad gas? Okay. We want the Hermit. I ended up not needing the Hermit teleport card anyways. So that just multiplied our damage by a lot, which means that everything I have now is a lot more deadly. Just get our flies up again. Like, we are scary powerful because of all the damage that we have off of everything that we have. Yeah, that's not happening. This is worth it if we can get some hearts out of it. Nope. Gurglings aren't going to last at all. That's still not a good pill. Send this over here. Kill these guys just by having my gigantic scythe tears on top of them. Just go ahead and take this stuff out. So we're just going to be taking any chance we can to get some spirit hearts or anything like that. So, blow these up. I'm amazed I didn't get both of them at the same time. 
money equals power all of a sudden really really amazing our damage just skyrocketed again just get ourselves over to here and our scythe almost just touching is what's killing them okay we will definitely pick that up do we know what this is was this good this was bad trip so no it's not good um soul converter is almost tempting almost unfortunately we don't have enough soul hearts to actually make that actually worth it okay so we got the adversary who should go down pretty much instantly yeah awesome got the halo okay we've gotten several all stats upgrades so our damage should be pretty okay hero font brings me back into the game and all of a sudden we have a run that may be a winner from inauspicious starts we have come back yeah I mean I'm less worried about these fights now that I am you know got this damage if you can see this damage okay where are we going I'm gonna go down there's apparently some talk about seeded runs in the expansion uh, and some sort of scoring system one of the scoring systems that was brought up is time which I find kinda sucks because the thing is I'm not a fast player I'm a thorough player like you know win streaks and you know making sure the win the the run wins and things like that so I've got this kinda feeling that you know it kinda sucks if that is the case if we're gonna be basing this on um on time because for me I don't play fast because I play thoroughly I play I play to survive so I can understand that that makes me apparently not a good player but it still kind of sucks luck foot's pretty okay that's just gonna mean that we're gonna get a lot more spiders what's going on in here okay we'll play that once and then we'll leave got the store down there which believe me I am definitely interested in let's go ahead and hit that a couple times I mean, chances are this is not gonna help us at all yep it's gonna be super greed which doesn't really give me all that much are we on a yeah we're on depths too interesting I would completely lost track of where we were I don't want to go to the boss just yet I want to explore a little bit more and that's kind of what I'm talking about is my you know I really want to explore and see what the floor has to offer because sometimes we get cool stuff so what I'm really hoping when it comes to a scoring system for Isaac is I'm hoping hoping that they're gonna do something like points related when it comes to what you actually do on the run you know yeah like have time be part of it but don't have time be the end-all be-all for the scoring system because that would suck I mean that would mean that players who like to take their time and get everything done are automatically not as good as um, other players I don't think it's true at all credit card okay I'll, I'll, car I'll carry that with me if we got a deal with the devil making everything the deal with the devil free sounds like a remarkably good thing Okay. So all of a sudden we have health, we have damage, uh, we are uh, we are doing really well. What do we got here? We got Book of Secrets. Maybe it'll show me where the other secret room is. No. Nope. Not sure which effect we just got off of it. Could have given us the whole map. It could have given us. Uh, it could have given us the room locations. Could have given me a bunch of things. Oh, we're at max damage. Max money. Can't donate anymore. So for the person who pointed out that I don't donate enough, I'm sorry. I, I donated two cents and the machine said no. Okay, so mom's going to die pretty much instantly. Yep. Credit card makes that free. 
which I have, I have no problem making that particular uh, decision. That gives me even more damage. Okay, so... Still not getting that Brimstone Ludovico run that I have been wanting. I'm just going to place this right here. You notice that little black spot to the, to the left of the uh, the sights? There's actually a little gl there's a, there's a little glitch in the sprite, which you never really notice unless you got a sight that was this freaking big. Neat. And I'm still not guppy, which is weird. Like, oh my god. Yep, we're going with that. But I'm still not guppy. It's kind of weird. Like, we're we're doing so well, and I'm still not guppy. Just one of those things that you sit there and you go, wow, is this... Oh, that was bad. Let me get that spirit heart that I left behind. Like, it's just one of those things that just doesn't happen all that much. I don't even know... Have we gotten enough guppy parts? I mean, I would prefer to have Brimstone over Guppy, I'll be honest. Like, if, if I have to choose... That was kind of a waste. If I have to choose one or the other, I would rather have Brimstone over Guppy. So I don't know what the game's going to be likely to give me. Okay, this is almost as good as... This is actually almost as good as Brimstone Tammy's head, because of the sheer damage we do. Uh, I don't want those. Not that much, at least. So hopefully we will be getting a devil deal here. That could have hurt. Actually, this might even be better than um, Brimstone Guppy's head, and, or Tammy's head. And the reason I say that is that uh, our tears are so big, they're literally hitting everything. I don't even have to move. It's just I go and it happens. This is the first time in a while we haven't had Conquest. No deal with the devil, unfortunately. So unless I find myself a Joker card. Or something similar. We will, unfortunately, not be getting Brimstone. Two of clubs. You know, I was hoping for a second there. And I know that some of you were hoping too. When you saw that red card, you went, oh yes, the bicycle cards of of destiny have come forth to make this happen. But no, no they did not. The bicycle cards have abandoned us. And we will have to make do with our tremendous damage and room clearing potential. Damn. Oh, there, that happened. Nope, hey, there's a boss room there. I can't not go to it. It's the rules. Child's heart, interesting. Wow, oh, that's crappy. We'll just sit that on top of him for a second. And we win. Good fight, good night. I remember Celebrity Deathmatch being such a cool thing for me and my best friend when we were kids. We would just watch it and it would be like, Man, we're not supposed to be watching this. It's like a really adult show and everything. Back then it was. That's interesting. Oh, that's damage. The AIDS poop has claimed yet another victim. That spirit heart will never be the same without it. I think just one uh, spider took him out. It's kind of sad, because that's... Loki is supposed to be a boss. I mean, I'm, I know it might not be understandable, but Loki is actually a boss of this game. He doesn't seem like a boss, but he is actually a boss. That Lugo Vigo's technique is so hard to move around. 
No deal with the devil. That's fine. Wouldn't do anything anyways. Okay. Um, let's go to the right first. Yep, I have enough keys to do that. And hey, we even got one back. Totally not a waste, right? Yeah, totally not a waste. Anybody want to take care of that for me? I don't like that he exists. I'd like him to no longer exist. My spiders sometimes listen. That's the only unfortunate thing with spiders, is that there's... When it comes to, like, pathing and stuff like that, they're not as good as flies at that. That was a waste of a key. You know, they're just not as good as flies. And it's kind of an unfortunate thing. Sure, I'll waste a bomb on this. It's a waste until proven otherwise. Nah. So yeah, this run seems fairly done. At this point, just a matter of getting to the end. I mean, there's nothing really that's going to stand in our way. Um, most enemies die with a single hit of space bar. The ones that don't die with another hit of space bar. I mean, we're one-shotting bosses. Let's go explore more. Still waiting to see if we can somehow get a deal with the devil that gets me brimstone. Because I get Ludovico Technique so rarely. It really is a rare thing for me. We've only gotten it a handful of times. And generally, when I get Ludovico Technique, it's almost been a harbinger of doom. Like, it's been one of those, if I get Ludovico Technique, I'm going to die on this run. This might be one of the first Ludovico Technique runs where we've actually won. Where I got Ludovico Technique early. Because I don't count it... I wouldn't count it if we'd got Ludovico Technique... As, like, a chest item, which is generally where we've gotten it as of late. Because that's the chest, right? Like, you're not gonna... Nothing special's gonna happen to you on the chest. If you got to the chest, chances are you can survive the chest, with some exception. But this one, everything just kind of panned out, didn't it? It's kind of nice. I like it when everything pans out. So I'm trying to figure out where the... I'm trying to, like... It's one of those phrases. I love, like, kind of dissecting phrases and kind of seeing what the hell they're supposed to mean originally. Because there's... there's there are certain phrases that don't mean what people think they mean. Like, one of a kind. Doesn't mean unique. It doesn't. Like, it means you're one of a group. You're not unique. You are one of a kind of thing. Well, that just happened. Okay, everybody, so good, say goodbye to Tammy's head, because Undefined just popped. Yeah, it means that you are one of a group of things. It's Two of a kind does not mean two unique things. It means two of a group, right? So one of a kind doesn't mean that. So it's just one of those... I love, like, kind of at least mentally investigating those things, trying to figure out what was it supposed to mean originally, and how does it change... How has it changed? And, like... Panning out, well, I can think of a couple ways to pan. You know, you, you can you can pan with critics, which means you didn't do well. Which, But panning out means it did do well. So either that's one of those things that just went the opposite of what it actually means, or it's something else, right? So, can't be that. It could be, like, you're literally panning, as in panning for gold. So, I guess, that's probably where it came from, right? If you panned out, you got gold out of your pan. Like, that's what I have to think it means. That, that, that actually makes sense to me, if that's what that means. Let's see. There's frying pan, but that wouldn't have anything to do with it. It doesn't seem like it would have anything to do with it. Nope, same place. Oh, that was... Multiple hits to that same exact AIDS poop. Um, there's deadpan, but what, 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 would, what would deadpan have to do with anything. I, I don't, you know, I, I don't think, like, if, if you have a deadpan read, you know, you're, you know, you're not putting any emotion into your voice or anything like that, but that's, that has nothing to do with, with panning out, I don't think, so. We're just taking all the damage off this AIDS poop, all of it. We could die here because I've taken so much damage to this. 
I don't really want to deal with that room again. I just want to, I, I honestly, I just want to end it. So we're just, just going to end it. Let me go see how fast I can kill Blue Baby. Really, really fast, apparently. Yeah, we are one hit away from from dying. So we're just going to end it because I'm not losing the streak. Okay, well, that panned out. I'll see you guys next time.